Miami Commissioner Joe Carollo is staying in his Coconut Grove home at least for now. And this is all happening just weeks before the U.S. Marshals scheduled his home to be sold to the highest bidder. Local 10's Christina Vasquez covered the crucial federal hearing today. It's a good day of um, more to, to come. A good day in Miami Commissioner Joe Carollo's opinion because a federal judge told Jeff Gutches, the attorney representing the Little Havana businessman who won a federal civil suit against the commissioner, that it would be procedurally unfair on this day to do what they thought would happen. Argue the reasons why they believe Carollo does not have homestead protection on his Coconut Grove home. You may remember the U.S. Marshals posted a March 19th public auction date for Carollo's Grove home to help satisfy a jury awarded multi-million dollar judgment against him. You thought that day in court was going to happen today. We were ready to go today. We had our witnesses lined up. Everybody was here, but that's okay. We'll do it in a, a month or so. So no public auction of Joe Carroyo's Grove home in the breezeway off the federal courthouse March 19th. Not on March 19th. Uh, as I was coming to court today, I'm seeing all these poor people in tents. I just got to wonder, you know, what their lives are like. Could that be me in the future. I live like off of the salary that I make as a commissioner. The key decision for us today is that the judge determined that the federal court has jurisdiction to make the determination whether the home is protected by the homestead exemption. And so that was a key victory for us today because we think the federal court is the right court to make this determination. That's not a victory. That is showing that they need to follow the rules. And if and when they do and the procedure plays out, Florida law will show that the Carroyos have constitutional protected homestead. What the judge is trying to do is, is reschedule it to give Mr. Carroyo more time to get his evidence and arguments in place which is fair. We, that's why we agreed to postpone the sale so he can have his day in court. We're happy to give him his day in court. In Miami, Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Now all parties will be back in federal court on this issue in April for a status hearing.